Hi, I'm Michael Reynolds. I'm standing here in front of a, a refuge under construction. The refuge is our product right now here at Earthship Biotexture because we feel like it is a, a home that is affordable as well as sustainable and off all grids, independent. Um, it's what the world needs now. We're focusing on that. Um, we are going to be doing a field study with one of these in southern New Mexico at Newkirk. Anybody that's interested, I advise them to sign up for this project and a field study off of our website because you're going to learn to build the product that we think after 55 years is the product. I'm going to take you through this one uh, because it's very much like the Newkirk Refuge Earthship in southern New Mexico for the field study. All right, I'm standing here in front, and of course you see the uh, thermal glass solar face and the stem wall, which is of tires covered with rigid insulation, and it gets plastered, and then we bury up to the bottom of the door sill there. And uh, the front face details are very simple. Window boxes that are both structural and uh, accommodate the windows. The gray band of wood at the top of the windows is plastic wood, timber tech. It will go 75 years with no treatment. We have changed to that. It's more expensive than cedar or anything else, but you don't ever have to paint it. You have to paint stained cedar, you know, every two years or so, and you have to do two coats. By the time you do that, this stuff pays for itself. This is metal, glass, and plastic wood on this front face. No maintenance forever, essentially. Then our panels go up on the sloped part up there. So uh, we have an academy coming up this week to, to work on finishing this. All right, we're walking around the east side now and just shows you these things are buried. Uh, east side is nothing but a grass hill. We will terrace it to catch water and grow green stuff, but uh, this is the east side of the building. Now here we are in the rear of the building. Again, it's buried just like the east and west. The white tubes coming out are the overflows for the cisterns, which are buried up there. And this little retaining wall is to accommodate the tubes, the 15 inch air tubes that come out. And we usually keep them up off the ground like this and uh, uh, detail around them to retain the earth. So this is the rear of the building. Uh, which involves just a little work to retain the tubes, retain the dirt and accommodate the tubes. And again, the rear of the building is totally buried. All right, here we have one of the 20 foot tubes. We take another one and cut it in half. So we have 30 foot of tube coming out of the building and the hot air gets sucked through it by the convection in the building and it loses its heat to the earth that it's buried in. And it has to be metal and uh, this is our, this happens to be a 12 inch on the refuge that we use, not 15. And um, we, we bring air in through natural convection. This is an integral part of the ventilation and cooling of the building. Okay, we're back around to the front, showing the installation of the insulation covering the tire stem wall that gets plastered over. And back to the totally maintenance-free glass, metal, and plastic wood front face. This is all that's even exposed, and this requires zero maintenance. Now we'll go inside. Okay, I'm coming in here. This is showing the construction of the botanical cells, rubber lined, this will all be plants with a walkway across it. This will be the hallway. And uh, this is a good example of the peat moss filter that's in the botanical cells and the tubes that come up to house the pumps that go down to pump it back up to the toilets and to recircuit for recircing it all day long. Gives it a, um, a freshness and uh, uh, oxygenates it. Now here is our power system, batteries, sealed batteries, and the in inverter and charge controller and brain of the whole power system. 
notice that it goes in right in the beginning of the building so that we can build the building. The mixer's running. The power tools are running off of this system. This will be happening in Newkirk. We will be uh, using the same techniques. It's, it's essentially the same building. Getting in on the ground floor of a ground up build for the refuge airship is the best thing I think anyone can do toward educating themselves to build a sustainable independent home at this point. This is all the details are specifically designed to make it so even a high school kid could build this building. That's what we're after is making very simple details so that it's owner builder friendly to make this building uh, and reduce the cost by participating in it yourself. Um, and it's not, it's not difficult to build a building if it's designed to be simple. Um, procedure is as important a part of the design as the design itself. We're, we're on the inside of the building here now looking at the cooling tube that we looked at in the back coming through into the building and cool air comes through that because it's sucked through by convection going out the transoms above the doors. We don't have skylights in this building. This is less maintenance and less cost to do transoms over the doors. The heat rises up and goes through the transoms, creates a suction through these tubes, brings in cool air. That's what keeps these buildings cool and ventilated without fans or anything. Natural convection ventilation. And we do have two or three frame walls in this building for plumbing and uh, divisions. Uh, this is the kitchen, living, dining section, and through the framing there is the mechanical section. And uh, we do have, uh, I want to show one thing here, that we don't have the WOM in yet, but you see these pipes coming through the wall from the buried cisterns. They are bringing the gravity feeding the cistern water for us to build with. And we've got a roof on this building, a, uh, a pro-panel metal roof that'll last forever. And last night it rained, so we caught water for building today. Today the sun's out, so we're catching power for building today. We build this building just like we're going to live in it. And it is a very simple building. Some may say these buildings are too simple. I'm okay with that. I'm trying to get people in sustainable independent buildings. We have uh, an acronym we call WISH, W-I-S-H, Worldwide Independent Sustainable Housing. That's what the refuge is trying to address. And the one we're building in southern New Mexico at Newkirk for the field study is one of the most important uh, things that you can do to learn how to build an independent, sustainable home. Hope to see you there.